We're in San Francisco at the Osico Bakery. Did I say it correct? You did, you did. It's very simple. <laughs> Complicated French name, but easy to say. So, Armando, give us a little background about the bakery. Well, my great-grandparents, George and Pauline Osico, owned a bakery 100 years ago. And so, you know, it's in my blood. My grandfather started working there when he was 14. They took him out, took him out of school. He was a baker until sometime in his 20s, then he did something else. Uh, I bought that existing bakery and it became Osico Bakery. So, let, let me ask you this. You said your great-grandparents 100 years ago. Was it here in San Francisco? No, 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 it was in France. It's in France? Yes, yes, yes. How long has this shop been here at this location in San Francisco? Well, this, uh, it's been a bakery for, for more than 40 years. Now. Okay. And uh, when I bought it uh, two and a half years ago, there was some of the original equipment. Let's go inside, Armando, because there's no line at this moment. Uh -huh. So let's make our way inside. Well, we managed to sneak in and set up and then a line formed. And then we were getting ready to go and then a line formed. Is this every day for you? Uh, it, it is. It is every day, yes. And uh, so therefore, again, always how do I satisfy these people? How do we get them what they're expecting? That's the, uh, the, the, the challenge. You know, as I was telling you, 114, uh, new equipment as well, so we're more productive, better quality. Uh, we, uh, we turn on the oven. Uh, I mean, the, the, the first thing to go in the oven, go there about 45 minutes before we, uh, we open. Okay. So we bake throughout the day. I mean, that's very important to me. It's, uh, it's really part of the experience. It's all about being fresh, slightly warm, and, and you get you know, the texture of the whole experience. And that's what we're, we're, we're trying to, uh, to give to our customers. So what, what are people coming in to get? Like what's, so, what's your uh, item? We, uh, it's mostly uh, different types of croissant. I'm playing croissant, chocolate croissant, ham and cheese, almond croissant. And uh, uh, besides that, we've reintroduced uh, scones. Okay. Uh, cranberry coconut scones, uh, currant scones, and, uh, and also the chocolate chip cookie. So what time do you open in the morning? Uh, we open at uh, 7 during the week, 8 during the weekend. We like to okay. take it easy. My team shows up at 4 something instead of 3 something during the weekend. Can we walk back into sure. the uh, kitchen, the production line? So, first of all, the smell, the aroma. Wow. Oh, it just smells like you would want it to smell at a bakery, you know? Well, yeah, and that's something, you know, it's throughout the day. Throughout we, the day. We bake throughout the day, nonstop. And uh, again, big part of uh, the experience. So here we have uh, the ovens. Queen Yaman, they're about oh, wow, to be unmolded. What are those? Queen Yaman. Queen Yaman. Qu so Queen Yaman, it's a pastry from Brittany. I had my first one when I was 13. Mm -hmm. At the time, you couldn't find one in Paris. So this is where the, it looks like the dough part of the croissant. Right, so we have the dough here, and that's where we give the dough the, the turn. So we, uh, we roll the dough, there are two metal rollers in the middle, uh -huh. and uh, the dough will go back and forth, and uh, get thinner and thinner, and longer and longer, then we fold it, go the other way, and do the same thing, so the butter is inside, so we eventually, you know, after all that folding, uh, get the many layers. So is it going through? Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's going back and forth uh -huh. through there? So that's what you would do with a rolling pin at home. And, uh, oh, so it's just a... Big rolling pan, basically. Yes, yes, yes. And then what's happening over here? Oh my so gosh. So here we're preparing the almond croissant. The almond croissant? Uh, the, uh, the almond croissant are baked twice. So originally it was, they were invented to, uh, to recycle the old croissant. But they turned out to be something really terrific. <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll, you'll agree with that. <laughs> the pressure's uh, on. So uh, you take the croissant from the, uh, the day before. So every day now we produce extra croissant extra chocolate croissant. They, uh, we bake them, let them cool, put them in the fridge where they're going to dry a little bit. Then the next day, like right now, we cut them in half, dip them in a little bit of syrup, put the almond cream in the middle. Uh, we, we go through 75 pounds of almond cream. And we make it every day. So then we close a little bit of almond cream on top and they go back in the oven. Yeah. Because they're dry, they absorb the syrup. Because the syrup, they don't burn. And then you get the almond croissant. Uh, the Queen Yaman that you just saw, they've been unmolded. Okay, so cool. you see that the, it's shiny, it's caramelized, not crystallized. Yeah. And uh, it's all about you know getting the, the right temperature. And uh, oh you know, feel free. Huh? Feel free. You sh yeah? yeah. 
Are we good? Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, they're still pretty hot. They're pretty hot though. You take one, one of these. I take one of these. So these are gonna go out front anyways, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So want to be very delicate. Just touch one. Oh wow! So it's light. Uh huh. It's not. I thought it was gonna be like squishy or. It's not. No, it's all about crunchiness. About thickness. crunchiness. All right. So my first bite is in a. Say it again. Queen Aman. Queen Aman. Very good. not heavy, not thick, crisp, um, sweet, <laughs> soft, flaky. Wow, what other words can I throw in there? Uh, I think you're doing great. Armando, I've come to a conclusion that you need a bigger shop. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat, yes. You, yeah. you, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I mean, this is, this is crazy. These things have turned over, I counted, six times since we've been here. And we haven't been here that long. Well, again, as I said, stay all day long. <laughs> About how many croissants or items do you go through in a day? Just ballpark. Between one and 2,000. One and 2,000. And again, you close at what time? Uh, 1.30 during the week, two or three during the weekend. What is your favorite item here at your store? The plain croissant. Take the croissant, it, it, it's the dip, the science of the so dip. So light. Uh-huh. You know, stay at the end, and then a brief dip. Wow. So this end is still crunchy. Uh -huh. You have the coffee. So you go right into your coffee, huh? I don't know that I've ever dipped croissant in my coffee. Good. It's not overdone on butter. It's nice and flaky, um, soft inside. And you know, I'm telling you all this. You already know. Well, I. Again, I'm glad we. Uh, you, oh, this you, is great. You oh. share my taste. Yeah. If you're in San Francisco, you've got the treat right in your backyard. You cheers. Thank you cheers. so much, Austin awesome Bakery. Thank you very much. Thank girl. you. Mm.